Hello viewers, you join me in the Dacia Sandero Stepway. This is one of the cheapest new cars you can buy on the market today. Um, so this has a starting price of £15,295. Now, the model I'm in today is a slightly higher trim level than the base uh, Comfort, but um, nonetheless, they are all excellent value for money. Um, now, Dacia have, since entering the UK market, continuously been incredible value for money. Um, and this is no exception. So for your money, you get a seven inch infotainment screen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto integration. You get a six speed manual gearbox and a three cylinder, one liter turbocharged petrol engine that produces around 105 horsepower if I remember correctly. You're looking at somewhere just over 100 horsepower and a light actioned but pleasantly, um, pleasantly actuated six speed manual. Now this engine is actually quite a strong point. It's got a lovely little three cylinder hum um, and it's more than enough for this kind of car. It's, um, it's got enough poke behind it to get you up to speed and the gearbox is actually quite good to use and row through. Um, so this engine and gearbox combination is actually the exact same as the one that Harry has in his own Dacia Jogger. And uh, on the channel we do quite like that. Um, it's a very good and competent combination. And the Sandero is a smaller car with a shorter chassis than the Jogger. So if anything, this may be a little bit more fun. Um, now, it's not going to blow your socks off, but it's not meant to, because this is a car for people who just want something simple, something cheap that they don't need to spend a lot of money on, and they just want a car that will get them from A to B, but that also has some decent bits of tech and, um, a, a relatively good driving experience. All of the controls are light, the clutch, throttle and brake, um, the steering as well, light, little bit of feedback, nothing tremendous. This is a small, light, technically crossover because the Sandero Stepway is a Sandero that's been raised by a bit and had a little bit of extra plastic cladding added to it. So we all know that that makes it a crossover, but it's pretty good still, I'd say. Um, if you're in the market for an car, this is absolutely what you should be looking at because you will struggle to get better value for money. Dacia have really upped their game in the several years since they entered the UK market. So if you compare the interior quality here to one of those original Dachas, it is absolutely leaps and bounds ahead of where it used to be. Yes, the plastic on the door cards is scratchy. Yes, the center of the steering wheel is a bit naff, but you've got this fantastic woven fabric on the dashboard. You've got what you need um, and, you know, Yes, the materials could be better quality, but they are assembled well, and at this price point, you cannot whinge. The brakes are good as well, actually. Um, they certainly have an enough um, bite behind them to, to slow you down. All of the controls are really, really easy to use. Um, the the bits of things, yes, they look like they're straight out of Renault's old parts bin, and some of them are, to be fair, but that's not a bad thing because it means that the car is more attainable. The gear lever is pleasingly chunky, and the gearbox, actually, is pretty good, I'd say. It's, it's got a good notch, um, notchy feeling as you engage gears and um, it certainly does have quite a nice throw on it as well. The
the engine takes a little bit to, um, of revving to, to get the, your, your peak performance out of it, but it's a three cylinder one litre petrol. It's going, to, uh, it's going to need ringing out to get the best out of it. You know what, it, when you press this engine on, it, it actually, it sounds all right. Um, it doesn't sound particularly strained. Um, it's, it's, it's a very good little three-cylinder unit, this. Um, it's, it's an engine that Renault developed years ago and have been putting in most vehicles since, to be honest, most of their smaller vehicles anyway. Um, the Sandero Stepway is just another entrant into the compact crossover market and yeah you benefit from the chunky styling you get some roof rails you get all of the bits of practicality that you'd expect in the small crossover uh, hatch segment um, so I've got good door pockets I've got a range of uh, cup holders in here and um, it does exactly what it says on the tin no more no less no frills. It actually handles quite well as well. Because it's light, a little bit darty. Now, don't get me wrong, it will understeer if you push but um, realistically, with this kind of car, you're not going to be pressing on and demanding a lot from it, or well, you shouldn't be, because it, you know, it, it won't necessarily deliver there. But if you want a little bit of fun, this will absolutely provide that to you. You've just got to work it, and there's nothing wrong with that. The gearbox is actually a pleasure to use, to be honest. Feels great. The gauge cluster is really clear. Um, you've got a small black and white um, LCD display in the middle, and you've got this seven inch infotainment screen in the center of the dashboard. Um, decent system, smartphone integration, which realistically that will be what, what will be chosen to be used um, because why wouldn't you? Um, there's no built-in sat-nav, it's only a media and phone streaming connection, so if you want sat-nav you do need to plug your phone into it. Um, yeah, this, this, this drives, it just, it drives well for, for its size, shape, class and price. Um, all round good package I'd say. Value for money and what you actually get and how it drives. This is an excellent purchase. If you're in the market for a small hatchback that seats five people, is relatively practical, spacious, and not a rip-off, why would you look anywhere else? It's great.